What is up everyone, StonePost34. Um, this is something a little bit different. I was reading online, and let me give you the backstory as to why I was reading, uh, reading this. My daughter, who's in first grade, yesterday we had the parent-teacher conference, which is always fun. Actually, both my daughters do very well in school, and it's nothing but good things, typically. Um, so at the end of my first grade uh, daughter, at the end of her conference, my, uh, her teacher asks us if she's having trouble seeing. Well, we had her eyes checked about uh, a year ago. It's almost been a year because she complained of the, the words moving and stuff like that. And um, the eye doctor, who's actually my neighbor, uh, he said, you know, she's, she's, she's okay. There are some issues, but let's just see how she develops. So we got this news at the end of the conference. So we've, this morning I set up a, uh, an eye appointment for her. It will be uh, next Wednesday, so I might give you an update on that. Uh, but basically, um, what she said is um, she's having issues with lining up on the paper instead of, you know, when she does a paragraph, it's not like this. It kind of comes at an angle. And she's noticed when she reads that she, you know, tilts her head a little bit and, and is squinting, trying to compensate. Um, so let me give you a quick family history. Um, I don't wear glasses. Now let's get back. My parents both wear glasses. They both have stigmatisms and and vision issues. I have two sisters that are younger. They both wear glasses. I have an older brother. He does not wear glasses. I do not wear glasses. In fact, him and I both have 2010, 2015, somewhere in their vision. Never wore glasses. Um, never had an issue. Except last year I went in because I, I, I was, it, I wouldn't even call it trouble seeing. I was getting headaches. My eyes were getting tired. But imagine this, I play video games basically daily. I sit in front of a computer all day and type. So I went in, talked to my neighbor, and he said, you've got incredible vision. He said, most people your age, are, if they hadn't had glasses, the, their vision starts to slip. He says about every 10 to 15 years, people's eyes change. He said, let me give you one test. So he gave me this test and he gave me a card and um, I had to wear these, it was like a, a kind of like reading glasses, little cheaters and he'd flip it over, flip it back, and then at the same time it would change the, uh, it would click the vision, so it would like go to a different uh, magnification. He said read each line and, and then flip it and then read each line, and he said do it for a minute. And I want to see how many times you can flip it and read it. And he said you know, you'll, you'll memorize it, he said, but actually wait till you, the words come into focus. So I did it and uh, came back Actually, I could only do it three times in a minute. He said, that's, that's your problem. He said, your vision is incredible. Uh, people your age, I'm 36, should be happy to have your vision. He said, but the problem is your focus muscle is extremely tired. It's worn out. <laughs> I can't imagine why. You know, sitting, like I said, in front of a computer screen and, the, you know, sitting and, and playing video games in the evening, watching TV in the evening. Uh, you know, I've been gaming for 26 years. I had to do the math. I first started gaming uh, when I was in sixth grade. I was, uh, you know, yeah, it was about sixth grade. Uh, actually, no, it was fifth grade. So that's what I did, 10 years. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, I was reading online. Long story, reading online, there was an article, and I'll link it here in the description, that said gaming can actually work wonders for vision. And what it said is they had um, several adults play 40 hours on an action video game for four weeks and notice significant in increases in the ability to track small dots and read small uh, print. Now, this is interesting. So when we got home after the parent-teacher conference, I took my daughter, I printed out one of those eye charts. Do it, if you guys want to do it at home, do it. And I, I taped it on the wall in the dining room and then step back about 12 to 14 feet, and I had her try to read the bottom three lines, which are, of course, the smaller print. She missed about a third of the words on the top line, went to about half, and then about half again on the small line. So she wanted to see how I could do it. So I have a dining room and a living room. Put it on the dining room. I went to the far end of the living room, and I could still read the bottom line, which that's about, let's do the math here, that's about 30 feet away. I can still read the bottom line. You guys try it, let me know if you guys can do it. Uh, I think that's pretty good for being 36. So, you know, I got to thinking about it. You know, the eye is made up of muscles. 
You know, if, if you want to be an athlete, if you want to be a track star, if you want to be a bodybuilder, you got to work those muscles. And um, I think maybe the constant video game playing that I do has helped and increased my ability to see. Um, you know, I'm the first one to spot a street sign, you know, as you're coming over a hill and can read it. My, it drives my wife crazy. Uh, it drives my father-in-law crazy. He's like, I don't know how you can see that. Um, but, you know, they have issues too. In fact, my wife, she is going to get her eyes checked too because she said she's having trouble uh, reading. But the article goes on to talk about how maybe perhaps, not necessarily are you increasing your ability to see, but your brain still has the ability to make up for sensory uh, issues that you might have with just hearing, seeing, smelling, whatever. Uh, but and just a side note before I wrap this up. So read the article. I'd like to hear in the comments uh, what you guys think, um, if you think that this is true in fact, because I, I think it is. I mean, I feel like maybe I'm a living example. My brother video games too. He's... Um, Gosh, he'll be 40 this year. So, and he's never worn glasses, has an excellent vision. Um, but as a side note, my grandfather, uh, who at the time was in his 70s, went to the doctor and he was having arthritis issues. Now, he was a farmer. He was an engineer uh, at Cessna, which uh, they build airplanes. Um, but also he was a farmer, worked all his life, worked, worked with his hands, um, but he was having arthritic issues. And the doctor recommended, and he did this, was to go out and get a Nintendo and play Zelda. <laughs> this is a funny story, though. So we lived in Chicago at the time. We come down, and we're like, holy cow, Grandpa's got a Nintendo and Zelda. And he was real protective of it. He's like, now, if you guys want to play it, just don't delete my game. And my brother and I understood all that. We knew how to not delete the game. And then the hard drive on that thing had to be about as, I don't even know how big it was. It was tiny. So my sister gets on there, my little sister, no, she's my middle sister, but she's younger than me. She's about five years younger than me, gets on there and is playing. And we're all in the uh, front room talking, messing around. And we come out and my grandpa had went to check on the game. She started a new game from the beginning and deleted his whole thing. And he was so upset. <laughs> it was horrible. We, so my brother and I played it trying to get him back and back and back, but we were only there for a weekend and we couldn't get him to the level he was at. And of course my sister felt horrible, but it was just a funny story to have your 70-year-old grandfather uh, mad at your little sister because she deleted his Zelda game. But anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Try that test out, print it out, uh, and let me know if you wear glasses or if you've seen any vision increase or decrease from gaming, but I think it certainly helped me. So anyway, take care as always. This is Stonepost34.